The James Webb Telescope took the space industry by storm when it revealed the terrifying shots of the biggest planet of our solar system. The pictures are so detailed and intricate that it almost feels like we never saw Jupiter before this. Even the scientists weren't expecting the images to be this good. So make sure to watch this video to the very end to see what these pictures of Jupiter reveal. In the recently released images by Jupiter, we could clearly see a glowing light and shimmering clouds around the planet. It does look magnificent, but at the same time, it terrifies some of the people who don't know a lot about the planet. NASA recently released the images of Jupiter captured by James Webb. These pictures are taken with the help of multiple wavelengths of light. Even though scientists were excited for these images, they didn't really expect them to be this clear and magnificent. Berkeley, a professor from the University of California, said in a statement, that is so remarkable that we can not only see the detailed surface of Jupiter, but also take a look at all its rings, galaxies, and small satellites. And it surely is remarkable, because even the Hubble telescope didn't give us this big of a breakthrough when it comes to picturing Jupiter. At this point, it almost feels like every picture that James Webb captures somehow revolutionizes the world of space studies. James Webb has taken a lot of shots at exoplanets millions of light years away from us, but this time it took images of a planet that's a little closer to home. The photos of Jupiter were studied and analyzed by a team of scientists, led by Thierry Fauché, who is a professor at Paris Observatory. The photos of Jupiter were captured by a near-infrared camera. This camera jots down the wavelengths of objects, converts them into colors visible to the human eye, and then sends the data back to Earth in the form of images. We also got to see the red spot of Jupiter. This red spot has been a center of discussion among scientists for quite a while, mainly because it's as big as our Earth. This spot was caused by a storm that hit the planet. However, this spot is visible in the form of white light due to reflection. According to scientists, the bright spots we see in the images of Jupiter are indicating altitude and even the red spot has hazes at high altitude. That's why it's appearing white in the pictures. Not only this, but we also got to see particles from the Sun interacting with the atmosphere of Jupiter. This resulted in a light show more famously called Aurora. In the recent images of Jupiter by James Webb, we got to see Aurora at both North and South Poles. The data was later received by scientists in the form of numbers and then they processed it to make it visible. The final image shows us some of the most beautiful images of Jupiter we've ever seen. We also got to see the rings of Jupiter glowing around the planet. Even though the rings are a little faint, they still look very magical and the glowing aurora is enough to put people in a trance. We also get to see the two moons of Jupiter as on the left. Amalthea is visible in the form of a glowing dot. We can also see Adrastia beside Jupiter's ring in the form of a very bright spot. Even though the images were originally wavelengths, scientists artificially colored them into blue, white, orange, green, and yellow. This coloring process was conducted so every feature of Jupiter could stand out and look accentuated. These images have helped us better understand Jupiter and could be considered revolutionary in the world of space and science. People are speculating that the James Webb might use its newer technology and help us better understand the atmosphere on Jupiter. It will be an amazing opportunity to get to know the gigantic planet better and see if we could find a way to sustain life on Jupiter too. Apart from this, the places on Jupiter we see on the redder side usually have a longer wavelength and are then translated from data into a visible spectrum. If the wavelength of a certain area is short, then it appears rather blue. And that's how scientists have given color to these gorgeous pictures of Jupiter. We can also see a lot of white clouds in the pictures and they appear that way because they're reflecting light from the sun. These clouds are making the images a lot more detailed and help us understand the atmosphere of Jupiter a little bit better. All the white strikes and spots basically are clouds at high altitude, and that's why they appear that way in the images. However, if we look at the equatorial region, we get to see dark ribbons because there are little to no clouds in the region. Not only this, but the subtle white spots in the bottom of the image could be far away galaxies that are photobombing a perfect shot for Jupiter. These galaxies appear really small because of the distance, but once James Webb will move closer to them, we'll get to know them better. For now, the telescope is caught up in sending us some of the most precious pictures from outer space. Scientists are now saying that the pictures released by James Webb Telescope basically are the most accurate representation of Jupiter and its rings. It has helped the scientists better understand this gigantic planet and that the pictures being detailed is a huge pro for people trying to study Jupiter for decades. 
Judy Schmidt has worked on the processing of these images as it was raw data when James Webb sent it to us. Scientists from NASA and other independent processors then translated the data and gave us some of the most stunning yet terrifying images of Jupiter. Judy Schmidt is also an independent processor who takes raw data from archives and turns them into magnificent images. But would you believe that she doesn't have any formal education? Studying space entities is just her passion and she's been doing it for quite a while now. Judy has previously worked on Hubble Telescope and has translated its raw data into viewable images. However, Judy said that things were a little bit more tricky this time than she expected. She added that if we compare Jupiter to other cosmic wonders, it was harder to analyze it because the planet rotated really fast. It was harder because until they get the time to combine a whole stack of images, that side of Jupiter already rotates and they really can't compare the images to the actual view. The images then don't seem aligned because of this rotation. Judy even said that she made adjustments digitally to make the stack of images a little bit more proper because they were unable to rely on rotations of Jupiter. Jupiter's images are a little scary for people mainly because we could see how big it is and how fast it rotates. Also, just a little spot on Jupiter is as big as our Earth, so that obviously sounds scary. But the pictures themselves are so full of color and beautiful that scientists are still in awe and wonder. James Webb is still going to be out there, introducing us to newer planets and taking us millions of light years back. But the thing that most scientists, including Judy Schmidt, are excited about surely is the birth of a star. And if we get to see a small star forming a huge nebula, that would be so iconic and historical. But for now, James Webb is sending us some pretty exciting pieces of information and helping us better know the planets that are actually closer to us. Previously, the telescope sent back data about an exoplanet and multiple nebula, but it is focusing mainly on Jupiter right now. So what are your thoughts on the pictures? Do you think they're gorgeous or terrifying? Tell us in the comments section. Also, make sure you like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon to get the latest updates. We'll see you in the next video. Till then, adios from our side.